In this problem, the ratios are directly proportional. Find the missing variable. Let's start by rewriting this in a way that's easier to see what we need to cross multiply. Over 30.48 equals 30 over C. Now we can see that we need to cross multiply here, 30 times 30.48. That's equal to this cross multiplication of 12 times c. Now, normally we would want to resolve this multiplication first and then divide both sides by 12. However, I'm going to recommend that we reverse this because we're dealing with a bit of a nasty decimal here. Anything we can do to simplify this math will make the this problem go faster and help you get to your correct answer faster. So let's divide both sides by 12 and we're dividing since this is multiplication here and we want to do the opposite. These will cancel. Now we need to see how many times can 12 go into 30. 12 goes into 30 two times. 24 with a remainder of 6 we can add a decimal, bring down a 0. 12 goes into 60 five times. So, and that's evenly without remainder. So we can reduce this down to 2.5 times 30.48 and that is equal to C. From here there's two different ways you could do it. One way is you could break apart 30.48 so you could do 2.5 times 30 and 2.5 times 0 0.48 and then add whatever two numbers you get together or you could keep everything together 30.48 times 2.5 and do the multiplication all at once. 5 times 8 will give you 40. 5 times 4 is 20 plus 4 is 24. 5 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. 5 times 3 is 15. Add a placeholder 0 and move on to 2. 2 times 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. 2 times 0 is 0 plus nothing because this was from the old math is 0. 2 times 3 is 6. So we can add all of this together, 0, 10, 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 is 12, 1 plus 5 is 6, and 1 plus 6 is 7. Then we just need to count up our decimal places, 1, 2, 3, and apply that to our answer, 1, 2, 3. And that will give us 76.2, making C our correct answer.